Is it time to buy or sell Intel stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Intel. Our initial report was published on our website on Friday, April 28, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Boost your experience by joining our YouTube membership. Choose the supporter tier to show your appreciation with a loyalty badge or the trader tier to request video analysis of the company of your choice. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since April 28, 2023, our system has ranked Intel as a hold slash accumulate, giving it a score of 0.52. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock has had natural fluctuations, but currently sits at a loss of 0% since our initial hold slash accumulate recommendation. The stock lies in the middle of a wide and strong rising trend in the short term and a further rise within the trend is signaled. The current 3-month trend suggests a potential 15.83% change over the next 3 months, with a possible return between 4.85% and 28.24%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 31.30% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 62.34% and minus 28.98%. This translates to a price range of $11.70 to $22.06 after a year. Our latest daily update for Intel includes the headline, Intel stock upgraded from sell candidate to hold slash accumulate after Friday trading session. The Intel stock price gained 4.02% on the last trading day, Friday, April 28, 2023, rising from $29.86 to $31.06. It has now gained three days in a row. It will be exciting to see whether it manages to continue gaining or take a minor break for the next few days. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 5.71% from a day low at $30.81 to a day high of $32.57. The price has fallen in six of the last 10 days and is down by minus 2.6% for this period. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price which is a positive technical sign, and, in total, 24 million more shares were traded than the day before. In total, 79 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $2.46 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $46.64, and the lowest price was $24.59. Currently, the price is 33.4%, or $15.58, below the 52-week high, and 55.17%, or $38.23, below the all-time high on January 24, 2020, when the price reached $69.29. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Wednesday, November 16, 2022, Credit Suisse set a price target of 28. On Wednesday, November 16, 2022, Credit Suisse set a price target of 28. On Wednesday, November 16, 2022, Credit Suisse set a price target of 28. On Friday, November 11, 2022, JP Morgan set a price target of 32. On Friday, November 11, 2022, JP Morgan set a price target of 32. Analysts have given Intel stock a general buy rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Intel. The Intel stock holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock but the stock has a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $29.95 and $30.48. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. Volume is rising along with the price. This is considered to be a good technical signal. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. 
A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Tuesday, April 4, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 6.16%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 18 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 3 days ago. Short-term moving average, buy signal 2 days ago. Long-term moving average, buy signal 2 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 3 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, buy signal 2 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 28 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages by signal 26 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Intel Intel finds support from accumulated volume at $29.81 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $1.76 between high and low, or 5.71%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 3.82%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Intel, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. A relatively low P-E ratio could signal a low expectation for the future of the company or that the stock is undervalued, indicating a potential buying opportunity. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2023 is expected on July 26, 2023. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Intel. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Intel is at $31.52. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Intel encounters its first support level at $29.81. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Intel from multiple analyst sources is buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On March 31, 2023, Goldsmith Andrea Joe conducted an insider buy of 746,097 shares of Phantom stock units. On March 31, 2023, Smith Gregory D. conducted an insider buy of 899,143 shares of Phantom stock units. On March 31, 2023, Yuri Frank D. conducted an insider buy of 2,011,913 shares of Phantom stock units. On March 22, 2023, Gelsinger Patrick P. conducted an insider buy of 13,063 shares of common stock. On March 22, 2023, Gelsinger Patrick P. conducted an insider sell of 6,477 shares of common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be positive with a ratio of 2.060. Overall, insiders purchased 505,329 shares and sold 477,323 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $29.63, minus 4.59%. This stock has medium daily movements and this gives medium risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found 17 days ago. Is Intel stock a good buy? Intel holds several positive signals, but we still don't find these to be enough for a buy candidate. At the current level, it should be considered as a hold candidate, hold or accumulate, in this position whilst awaiting further development. 
We have upgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a sell to a hold slash accumulate candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Monday, May 1st, we expect Intel to open up $0.420 and start trading at $31.48. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.